Do you face this problem? You stare at the screen, you sing and you play your heart out only to discover that A, nothing recorded, or B, it only recorded on one side. If that is you, I might have your solution. What's going on everybody? I hope your Christmas went well and I hope you're prepared for a happy new year. Today is cake tutorial part two. Today we're gonna focus on creating tracks. Now I know some of you all may know how to do this already. So this may not be for you, but I'm taking it all the way back to the very beginning so that way we can understand each section of creating tracks. First thing I'm gonna do is create an audio track. There's a few different ways to do this. One. You can choose to go up to the insert section at the top and do audio track there. Or you can press control T and that creates a new audio track. Or if I want to, I can right click and insert audio track. All right. Once I have my audio track there, I need to make sure that my input and my output is set to the correct destination. And what I mean by that is, Let's click on track one. I'm gonna drag this all the way out so we can see it real big. And say you are a person that is trying to record. Now, if I go to input, I wanna make sure that it's set on the right destination. So for me, my output should be set to channel four, four R. I am coming out of my X Air 18 digital mixer. So when I press record, it's already set right. Now the cool thing about it is if I didn't want to set it up that way, as soon as I press record, notice it's automatically going to set the input for me. On this one, it automatically set the input. It is not the input that I'm looking for, but it does work. Remember that a microphone is a monophonic tool that you use in recording. So you want to make sure that it's coming right in the center. This is what I mean, if I record, La da 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 da. Okay, if you notice that my audio tracks are on both sides, I do not want that. You want to make sure that it's set in mono. So let's see the difference between that track and this track up here. Here we go. La la da. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, this is real big. It's right in the center, and this is where we want it to be. Second, let's insert a MIDI track. The MIDI track is gonna be great if you are using like a MIDI controller or a MIDI wind instrument or some sort that uses the MIDI DIN cable, which is a five pin cable. All right, you can go up to insert at the top. You can do right click right here, insert it, or you can press shortcut, control, shift, T, and that will bring up the MIDI track. The third type of track is inserting an instrument track. And I've already talked about this before. Right now I'm gonna go ahead and right click. I'm going to delete this track. You already know how to do it by now. You go up to insert and this time it's gonna say soft set. But when you do it right here, it's gonna say instrument. So just know even though they're worded differently, they're still the same, all right? I'm gonna insert soft scent. Let's do the electric piano, SI. All right, there's some few options that are on here. Now, I don't want you to make this too complicated because this can be. I'm just gonna do a simple instrument track. Everything else is fine, press okay. All right, it created the track. It opens up the properties of the instrument. If I want to record with it, it's simple. I just press record and I'm good to go. I don't have to worry about the inputs. I don't have to worry about the outputs. Everything is set up automatically for me. The fourth type of track is inserting multiple tracks. Insert multiple tracks. The cool thing about this is that it's gonna allow you to create audio and MIDI tracks if you need it. Let's do four audio tracks. I don't want any MIDI tracks. I just want four audio tracks. Press okay, and then my audio tracks are there. 
The fifth option dealing with tracks is to create what's called a track folder. Say you wanna put all of these tracks in one particular folder. So you're gonna right click, insert track folder. And if I want to insert these tracks or not insert, but I mean, if I want to send them to this folder, I can just highlight them. I'm pressing control to click them. And then I'm gonna right click. And then it's gonna say move to folder. And I'm, right now it's just called folder one and it's gonna put it all under that folder. What this allows you to do, first of all, allows you to declutter your space because once you get to working past a certain amount of tracks, it's gonna be hard to keep track of what's what. The last option dealing with tracks is called a track template. There are some included track templates that come in Cakewalk, but the cool thing about this is that you can also create your own templates. So let me show you how this works. You right click, you go to insert from track template. All right, there are some audio track templates that are here already. And then there are some soft scent tracks. Okay, uh, let's say if I'm going to drums, drums flange breakdown. Now that really doesn't show me much, but you can tell when you open up the track that it's got some EQ on it using Sinitis. All right, it's got some EQ and it's got some delay on it. And it's got a modulator, which has it set as a flanger. So if I wanted this particular sound, it's already set up for me. Once you have everything set up the way you want it, then you can go ahead and create your own template. So this is how you do this. You first, you click on your first track. And if you double click, it's gonna highlight all the tracks. So you click twice basically. And then you're gonna right click right there where that number is. And you're gonna go to save as track template. Then when I save it, I can say just Oops, the norm <laughs> track one. I don't know. I just named it that. So now it's saved, right? I can go ahead and delete this, delete the tracks, delete track folder, delete everything. And now when I go back to it, you can see insert from track template, just the norm track one It's right there. And there it is, everything is set up. It's still in my track folder. It's got the name I had. I got my drums flange at the bottom. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. If you have any questions or concerns or comments or anything, definitely put it in the comments below. Make sure you like, make sure you share it and definitely subscribe. I love you all. Happy New Year!